Right now, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy, delicious roast chicken in your oven. Let's go. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day, I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country, and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress, then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Glenna M. on YouTube writes to me and says, I have never had a chicken come out of the oven looking like yours. Please make a video from start to finish cooking a chicken. Well, Glenna, this is for you. Come on, I'm gonna show you how I do it. You don't wanna put the chicken in the pan. I have found out that it comes out much, much better if it's up on a trivet. So I just put that in there. Fits nicely. All right, we're gonna need a roll of paper towels because the chicken has to be dry. You don't put it in the oven wet at all. I like to get the paper towels under my armpit so I have it handy when I need it to grab the chicken because it gets actually kind of slimy when it's wet. And make sure you leave your scissors in the sink because you're gonna have to wash those. Don't just put them back. Here we go, you just dump it out. So spread the chicken out like this, like kind of open it up, pull the legs apart. There's always, uh, you know, the gizzards and stuff in there, which I cook them for my animals. We don't eat them. And then just really just give it a good wash. All right, about like that. So I take my paper towels now, and I'm just gonna turn the water off with the paper towel. Okay, now I'm gonna get them over here to the pan, put it breast up. So how you know breast up is when the wings are down. All right, now what I always do is I go back and wash my hands with soap and water. Okay, before I continue drying the chicken, what I wanna point out is this chicken was only $4.50. What a great deal to put a nice roast chicken on the table. You can't go wrong with this. That's why I hope everybody tries to make this. All right, I want it drier, so I'm gonna get more paper towels and I'm gonna dry it off even better. And now is the time I add the salt and pepper. So I, I set the chicken up. I put the spices in the hole. I don't know why, but it just permeates through all the meat if you put the spices in the hole. You don't have to put them on top of the chicken. So whatever you like, you know, quite, I put, you know, quite a bit of salt. It seems like a lot, but it, like I said, it seems to disperse through the whole bird. I like to put salt and pepper in here. Today I'm gonna make it like, you know, not a fancy spicy chicken. I'm just gonna make kind of a mild chicken. So I'm only gonna do salt and pepper. But other spices you can put in here. You can put some lemon pepper. You can put some garlic. You can put some rosemary. You know, whatever spices you like, just put them in the hole there. And it'll permeate through all the meat and it'll taste really good. You wanna get the bird on there really perfect. So he's not touching the sides. But also, if there's water in the bottom of the pan, I try to mop that up because that kind of makes the um, pan, you know, kind of burn. So it's better if everything's dry. Okay, so we get them in here, not touching the sides, spread out on the trivet evenly, and we're all set. You don't cover it, you don't do anything. That's it, it's so easy. And it comes out so good. So now I'm gonna set the oven to 350. I have noticed that when you cook it up on a trivet, it does take a little longer. So it, this is gonna take about two hours to cook and turn golden brown. So I'm gonna start the oven to 350. Always make sure the oven is preheated before you put the chicken in there. We're gonna put it in here. and we're gonna check it in two hours. I usually check it in an hour and a half and just see how it's going because they're different sizes. If I get a really big one, it takes a little longer, a little smaller, less time. So check it in an hour and a half, but basically two hours. Here we go, we're getting the delicious chicken. Yum, a little golden brown chicken. 
Okay, the next step is I put it on the platter. So if you want to do the whole presentation, which does make it nice to put on the table, just go to a flea market, you know, a thrift store somewhere and just get some kind of a nice little kind of sturdy platter. Sometimes they stick to the trivet a little bit, but this one hasn't. I let the juice run out of there. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna cut it up. So that's the thigh and the leg. Let me do a little bit of breast meat. Home cooking isn't that hard. I try to show you easy recipes that you'll actually make and your family will love. See you next time. Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to Becky'sHomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. If you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help us a lot. And if you want to find out every time we post a new video, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email me and Doodles. Happy homesteading. Bye bye.